All right, quarterfinals at 61 kilograms here on mat six in the red singlet out of the Hawkeye Wrestling Club, Austin DeSanto in the blue singlet out of Michigan and the Cliff Keen Wrestling Club. It's Drew Matten. DeSanto pressuring forward, obviously known for his crazy pace, and he's been showing it here so far at here in Omaha at U23 Nationals has got a couple of tech falls to get here to the quarterfinals. And there, Matten getting worn four passive. The next one, he will go on the 30 second shot clock. Matten taking the shot there, but not able to get past the head hands defense of DeSanto. And there is the second passive call for Matt. He will go on the 32nd shot clock. DeSanto controlling center so far in this match. If you're Matt, though, don't force a shot here. It's all right if you give up one point. That won't be the last point scored in this match. I don't know much, but I will guarantee that. Bet the farm on that. And there it is, one point on the board for DeSanto. With Matten failing to score in the passive period. And re-attack from DeSanto. And you see him grabbing that elbow. He loves that dump there. Now getting Matten to the edge. If they go to bounce here, I think we'll see a grounded call. No. Santo brings him up at the last minute, and he will get another point. Increases his lead to 2-0 to zero with 41 seconds to go in the first period. Both guys now locked in ear to ear. Spent a lot of time here in the first period in that position. Each guy with a collar tie and the far elbow or tricep. Not really able to get anything going. Now DeSanto to his single leg. He does have his hands locked, but Madden able to break that lock and get his leg back. Three, two, one. And the first period comes to a close. Austin DeSanto up. Two to zero. One point on the shot clock, the other on the step out. Neither guy able really came close to getting a takedown. DeSanto probably the closest on that single leg. But both guys struggling to get past the head hands defense of the other. Headlock position now for DeSanto. Looks kind of for a cross knee pick. But the referee calls stalemate, stands him back up, no takedown. Heavy snaps for Man, and now we're picking up the pace a little bit.
So one minute into the second period, still no score here in the second period. Austin DeSanto still leading 2-0. to zero. And the referee warning Madden. He doesn't pick up the pace. He might call him again for passive. Heavy snap from DeSanto. Not really able to capitalize it, capitalize off of it, however. And referee stops the action for a second, warns both guys for interlocking fingers. Man hanging heavy on the head. Once again, both guys interlocked and in ear to ear. One collar tie and controlling outside on the other side. There, the referee stops it and he's going to hit Madden again for passive. For Madden, you might want to score on this passive clock because this point will be a big deal. Snap to a shot from Matten, but still not able to get past the head and hands of Austin DeSanto. DeSanto glanced at the clock, 36 seconds to go. Matten trying to dig under hooks now, switching off to collar tie. 16 seconds, a takedown would put Madden in the lead on criteria. Madden not able to get that takedown though, however, Austin DeSanto grits out a two to zero victory, advances on to the semifinals at 61 kilograms. We are rolling right into those semifinals after this round of quarterfinals.